Welcome to the Stutzman channel. My name is Terry. Well, we're all in a lockdown mode. Specifically, we're kind of locked in our homes and we're limited to projects uh, that, you know, around the house. Maybe you're going to do some house painting, cleaning, whatever the case might be. In my case, I thought this would be a good chance for me to go ahead and upgrade my Dell laptop back here. I am going to be upgrading it from 8 gigabytes of RAM to 32 gigabytes. Uh, this here computer is a Dell Inspiron 15 7000 gaming computer, specifically it's a 7567. And also, I'm, I'm looking at some other upgrades. I'm going to be upgrading the solid state drive, uh, you know, to another solid state drive, which is going to be, this one here has got 256 uh, gigabytes. It's got a small, you know, I'm running out of uh, storage on it. In fact, I got down to two and a half gigabytes and I had to delete some programs. So, we're going to be taking care of that in another video. So, we're going to be looking to go from 256 gigabytes to a one terabyte solid state drive. But, for right now, let's take care of the RAM. So, let's get started. One of the easiest ways to know how much memory or RAM that you have on your desktop or laptop is to go down to the lower left corner where it says type here to search. Click in there and type system information. You can see that it comes right up here to the top. Click on it. Once the window comes up, scroll down and you can see that we have installed physical memory in this laptop of 8 gigabytes. We'll close this window down. Now you may be wondering how much memory that your laptop or desktop can handle. Go to the manufacturer of your computer, in this case it's a Dell. Look at your user manual. Sometimes you may have to look in your service manual. You can see right here we're going to have two slots. This is a type of memory. Here's a speed. And this is the configurations that's supported. So we can support 4 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, or 32 gigabytes. Another question that you might be wondering is, well, where can I get the memory? One source is you can go to crucial.com. So here's a website, and let's say you want to upgrade your computer. So in my case, it's a Dell. So I'll click on it. Now I need to, to select the type of model. So it's the Inspiron Laptops note, Notebooks. So I'll click on him. Now I know it's going to be on the second page, so I'm just going to click on this number two down here at the bottom. Now mine is an Inspiron 50, 15, 75, 67. And there it is right there. Now at this point right now, we can select memory if we want to upgrade that or if we want to go to a solid state drive. In another video later on, I'm going to be upgrading my solid state drive. It's an M.2 SATA drive and I'm going to carry it to a M.2 NVMe PCI express uh, solid state drive. But for right now, we're going to do the memory. So we click on memory and you can see that we have 20 different upgrades here. So you can get an 8, you can get a 16, and in my case I'm going to be doing this one right here. So now, now that we have all the information, let's go ahead and we're going to power down the computer. So we come down to the lower left where it says start the icon, click on it, click on this icon right here for power, and then click on the icon right here for shutdown. Okay, now that the computer has uh, shut down, we're going to take and disconnect all the cables, as you see right here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over, and you're going to see there's going to be one screw. So we're going to take this one small Phillips screw out, And then we're just going to try to lift it up. It's going to have little tabs under here. And we just slowly take our time popping the cover up. Now once you get it popped up, and then lift it out. And you're going to see there's tabs down here at the back. And then you got these little tabs on the side and across the top. Now the memory that we're going to be putting in here, as I mentioned, is 32 gigabytes. This is from Crucial. And here 
is our two slots of memory. So you can see there's one slot of memory in there now, 8 gigabytes. And you can see that there's little spring tabs on each side of the card. So we're going to take our fingers or thumbs, whichever is convenient, lift them and push them off to the side at the same time. And then this is going to pop up. Hmm. Then we're going to take our card and then we're just going to slide it out. Okay. And just kind of try to hold it on the side and not be touching it on the edge. Now one other thing you want to notice, you can see it has a slot. And you can see that this slot is a little bit more to the right of the center. So when, when you put the new card in, it's going to be in the same orientation. Well here's one of the slots of the 16 gigabytes. So I have the slot in the same orientation, a little slightly to the right. And we're going to go down to the very bottom slot. And we're going to carefully push them in. Make sure he's seated. And then we're going to push them straight down. And that will lock them in place. So we're going to get the next card. And we'll do the same exact procedure. He seems to be seated, and we'll push him down. We're going to take our cover with this here strip across the back. We're going to put the tabs in into the slot, and then we're just going to lower it down. And then we're going to take, kind of push it on the sides, Bring it across the top, and then when we get near our screw, then we're going to tighten him down. Make sure he's all seated, and he looks good. Now we'll catch you in the next shot. Let me get everything hooked back up, get all the cables on, and then when it gets powered up, then we'll take another look at it. Okay, now when I started it up, I have this message saying that the amount of system memory has changed. Now down here at the, uh, the bottom, we can continue, do bio setup, do diagnostics. So I'm just going to do continue. And it booted up fine. Okay, so now since the computer has booted up, let's do the same exact thing that we did earlier. We're going to go to the lower left corner and we're going to type in system information. Come to the top, click on it. We're going to scroll down and we can see right here install physical memory 32 gigabytes. So, everything looks good. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully uh, you can see that it's not that much, uh, you know, putting extra memory in your computer. Hopefully you found it a little bit informational. And we will see you guys in the next one. And be safe. And if you're around the house, let me know some of the projects that you uh, guys have been working on. You guys take care.